It's a Fez, and welcome to It Moves. Now, uh, this is a free Steam game, as always, so you can check it out in the description below. But uh, let's just uh, hop right into it. What is it? Is that a little robot? What is, what is this? Okay, anyway, bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for the tired child. For me, it was terrifying. How are you terrified of bedtime? While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was when I was a child, next time was something to truly fear. Nighttime was something to truly fear. This guy's definitely like one of those people who's like somewhere in the back of my mind. It still is. Let's see, this is me. This guy definitely talks like this. Trust me, trust me. I know this guy in real life. He talks like this. Okay? Okay. This is me. I mean. Okay, what do I do with it? I'm sure I gave me some instructions on how to play the game before just launch me in. I got a nice poster. Somebody. I got a poster of a wolf. Can I sit in the chair? I don't like it. I hate how it's. I move so far when I barely tap the button. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot prove that what uh, happened to me was actually uh, objectively real. I, I can read, I promise. But I can swear that when I, what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear in which my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equal. I relate it to you. Oh, now as I, I, oh, now as I best I can. Make of it what you will, but I'll be glad just to get it off my chest. Trust me, this is how he speaks. Oh, hello. Oh, Mr. Dad. This is my father. Okay, I, was, I promise. I promise I'm going to stop. Okay? Okay. Nice. Shoes. Not very interesting. Oh, I thought that was the dad speaking. Don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime soon. How old am I? Oh. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my uh, apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with me being moved into a room of my own. Oh, I thought that was like a ghost or a demon or something. That thing looks horrifying. This is my mother. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you like your new room? So you'll be sleeping all alone for the first time. How old am I? Seven? Seven, six, six, seven. Okay, cool. Thanks, mother, for the useful insight. Captain Obvious. I can't go in my dad's room because he's like, nah, I hate you, son. Okay, that, I thought that was a door down there. Nope, nope, it's not. This is my brother's room. Okay, fine, fine, I'll stop. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of his room that we both had shared. Until then, really hate how it keeps going. This is sentence. Sentence will continue once you hit space. That, that's not good. I don't like it. I was eight years old at the time, and until then, I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As it, as it is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk. Hey man, totally worth it. You know, you see demons now, you're, you're probably going to die. Totally worth it. You get to sleep in the bo top bunk. I didn't read that. I accidentally pressed space. It's locked. Stupid bro. Stupid bro. Bro. Don't go point out too much stuff now. It's bedtime soon. Can I just go to bed? Ooh, plant. Nice, nice. I love, love, love them flowers. Can I, can I just turn off the light? Ooh. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, it's Mrs. Mom. Alright. Alright, it's bedtime. Alright. Already. Yes, adults need their sleep. You see, you'll be able, you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You said that twice already. 
You have said it that twice. Yes, mom. Okay, how many times am I still getting alone for the first time, according to my mother? Twice. If she says this again, I'm suing. Alright, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Oh, I have like a tablet or something? Pfft, idiot. Don't say like a tablet when you're going to bed. Bad for your eyes, I think. Probably. I don't like it, Sam. I am. I do not like your green eggs and ham. Ooch. Ooch, my looch, papooch. Um, yeah, I'd like to save. Oh, this is gonna be a long game with multiple parts. Understood. Ooh, what is. Um. Oh, oh, that's a bird. That's a rat. That is a stupid looking rat. Okay, okay. I think someone just came in the room. A pot and some ragged clothes. Where am I? Why am I just in the jungle randomly? I wonder what's cooking. Look in the pot. You idiot, look in the pot. That's, that's nice. Oh, okay. Can I go talk to the rat? That's kind of all I want, really want to do. No, I really wish she would make doorways more noticeable. Whoever made this dude game, doorways need to be more noticeable. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Go in, obviously. Like, it's cold. Oh, this is like the wall of flesh from Terraria. Wait, is that actually like a living wall of flesh, like in Terraria? I don't like this. Oh, my move? Okay. I don't like no ooch no stop 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 excuse me excuse me um wanna run me by that again wait wanna run that by me again there's red liquid seeping from the mushroom hat not blood jelly definitely jelly maybe jump a bit jeez I don't oh what was that? It was like, oh, 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 throw the picture of that spider head thing from Toy Story. Yeah, I think it's just Toy Story. Yeah, throw that picture. That's what that thing was. Oh, you got smart I am. That was easy. Oh, never mind. India. Uh, dude, I'm so smart. I just randomly did it until I got it right. More mushrooms. Yay, more jelly. Dude, why am I not collecting the jelly? A delicious jelly for later. Where's that spider? Where's my spider bro at? Spider bro? Oh, I don't like how quiet. Hello? Hello? Okay, spider bro gone. Spider bro dead. Why am I walking slower? No, you should be sprinting. You should be sprinting at full speed to get out of here. Like actually, oh, oh no, no, just turn around. Oh no, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. No, I, I don't think I should have turned around there. Not gonna lie, I should have kept going. Why did I not keep going? Come on. Was that the right? Was that the right thing that I should have done? Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. Yeah, I, I'm still in the dream. I can hear birds. I mean, that means dream. Like stupid bro, yeah. What's going to my mom's room? Wait, so what was this room over here? You go here right now. I don't need to go here right now. Hey, I'm gonna annoy you because I had a bad dream. Mom, I had a bad dream. Oh, jeez. Slay you. What's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute. And we can eat breakfast together. All right. Hurry up. Go change your clothes, and I'll be right there. My. Oh, there we go. Why is my uh, house shaped like a spy like a weird snake with legs? That's <laughs> the best way I can describe it. And so, and so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with details. The one thing I remember is that ev even though I played with friends like I always did, somehow I felt lonely. I didn't, I didn't enter my new room until I later that night, 
it was time to go to sleep. Again. Okay. Now I enjoyed my spider friend last time. He, he um he was just trying to say hi. He, he woke me up. He knew I was gonna be late for school, but he woke me up. What a good bro. Like honestly, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spider Baby Face Man. Fixing the fez. Okay, let's keep going. Chapter 2, the Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Lobby? Lib lib labyrinth? Labyrinth. Save? No, I, I'll save. I'll save. I'll, I'll save. Let's have one file for each night. Ooh, I don't like this. Uh, let's go to the right because I want to go to the right. And, well, um, I'm going left anyway. I don't think there was a point to any of that. This one? This one? This one? This one? Okay, now we can go up. Okay, let's do this. This is obviously the right path. Uh, straightforward, always move forward. There's a monster in here that I have to beat up, right? Because I'm definitely trying not to do that. This is a dead end. Oh! Oh, hello there. What are you? I don't like that, Sam. I am. I do not like your green eggs and ham. That thing is horrible. Oh, what was that? What was that? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? See it in your eyes. Oh my god, your eyes are really horrible. Hi. You know, don't want to be rude, but I'm going to be rude to your face because you ugly, bro. You ugly. And you can tell it, like, us kids, us eight year olds, we always tell the truth. We can be blatantly honest, as we should be. And you ugly. Oh, ooh. Ooh, somebody. Somebody barked on the wall. Oh, tomato sack. I don't want it. I don't want to eat. You there? You there? Anybody? Okay, phew. I was gonna like, die from picking up this potato sack again. Sorry, tomato sack. And, ooh, what were you? What was that? Stop. No, stop that. It's really not okay. Picking up a potato sack. And I am fast. I am fast. I got that drilling and adrenaline pumping. Oh, this is. Oh, not. Oh. Data. I don't like how vibrant the. Colossal Titan spaces. Go away, Colossal Titan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop your neck. I'm gonna chop your neck. Chop, chop. It's my. Yeah, it actually, does kind of look like a Titan. I don't like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 How's it going, bro? Hi! How is it? Oh, jeez. It is nice. That is not nice. Stop. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what's happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving, there was no doubt about that. At first I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside uh, to outline that room. Ooh, boy. Two thoughts appeared in my mind, almost simultaneously. The first that was, my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both. The first was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. Okay, dude. I hate that. Stop. All one sentence. You can't have that. You can't do that. It confuses me, the reader. You can't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. The second thought turned to the noise, and noise which had obviously woken me. Ah, uh, that was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark, and something breathing. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. Oh right, you're in a bunk bed. And there they are in disbelief thinking that the noise was either my imagination, or rather just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. 
Oh, I saw save some. No, go back. Can I, can I go back? Can I go back? No, no I, I skipped it again! Perhaps blah, blah, blah. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes. And the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. Alright, thank you, Sam. I think his mom was in the bottom of his own. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat. But quickly I realized that the visitor in the bottom mug was much less mundane than my cat, pet. Trying to sleep and much more sinister. As if alerted to and discouraged by my pressure to disturb it, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with an increasing curiosity. I uttered a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted out for my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were going to save me, the bunk beds suddenly started to shake violently as it gripped, bit by an earthquake scraping against the wall. Ooh. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, throwing me into the darkness so I stayed there. White knuckles clenched my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The way seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried out and my mother concealed me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet, through all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return, even if I, if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I did not know. But as a child, I felt as if that unease madness remained close, listening. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, at the end, my mother lay in the empty buck, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, or but be anywhere but in that suffocating room. That room is haunted, and you know it. It was a Saturday, and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much as it was overgrown, and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the tr huge sycamore tree which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinarily slight in 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 inocious. I think that's how you say the word. But for me, that thin board boundary was a looking glass in a strange old pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room watching me play it, waiting for the night when I would be alone eagerly filled me with hate. Eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents unsheared me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that th this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night game. Woo! Intense story. Very intense. Is that is that not the end? Jeez. Woo. Okay, that's not the end for some reason. Yeah. Oh no! Mike is dead. Is dead. And that is all the time I have for today, bros. So uh. Whew. I'm all spooked now. Whew. Okay, uh, so that will be all for this video. Leave a comment and like if you want me to play this game again. I get a part two, and uh, that was, uh, yeah, that's good. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, salute. See ya. Goodbye, my